Hi, you might have heard of this guy. He's pretty well regarded on the topic of investing, and last year he highlighted the two biggest problems facing the investment industry across the globe. One, investment fees are way too high. And two, the returns being achieved by these high fee fund managers no longer outweigh the costs. Good afternoon, my name's Chris, and I left a hedge fund last year to solve these two problems for Asia. This is how big the problem is in my home market, $158 billion. Let me say that again, $158 billion is what Australians spent on investment fees over the last decade. 70% um, of these fees were paid to fund managers then who underperformed the market, rendering this whole process pointless and wasting a lot of consumer money. Now realising this, the fastest growing segment of the Australian pension market is what's called self-managed super. These are people who have decided to take control of their own finances and, and manage their own money. The great part of this is that these people manage to reduce the costs and fees they're paying, but unfortunately most people lack the skills required to build a diversified portfolio and manage it over time. And as a result, the average portfolio managed by one of these self-managed super funds contains double the risk that it needs to. So people do need that advice, but unfortunately they're not getting it because they've lost faith in the financial services industry. And that's where we come in. We've just launched two days ago Asia's very first completely online algorithm-based financial advisor and fund manager, Stockspot. Instead of charging thousands of dollars in fees like typical fund managers and advisors do, we charge a flat fee of $70 per year and a, a very small asset base fee of seven basis points per month. How do we do it? Well, our whole process is on online. So clients, first of all, come onto our website and complete a risk profiler. And based on this risk profiler, we match them to an appropriate mix of low fee index funds that match their investment horizon, their liquidity needs, and their risk profile. These are the low fee index funds that Buffett likes himself. So consumers are you know, a lot better off. And this is, how better, this is how much better off consumers are. So we modeled our funds versus typical um, typical funds um, that are managed by advisors in Australia and the performance is staggering. Um, we've modelled it up here, a typical fund versus ours, and you can see not only is the performance significantly better, but the risk or volatility in the portfolio is significantly less. And the exciting part for me is on also the right-hand side, the fees that clients pay are significantly lower than going through the typical um, distribution model in Australia, which is through financial advisors, platforms and fund managers. Um, we see the potential saving uh, for this product in Asia of being $60 billion per year in fees saved. Um, and the other great part about this product is that being con constantly engaging with clients online um, means that we're able to uh, more effectively use gamification and behavioural finance theory to improve that experience, to engage with our clients and to help them make better investment decisions. These are a few of the guys that have been tackling the problem overseas. So in the US, um, four companies have raised over $200 million to solve this problem and have already accumulated uh, $2 billion of assets. No one's doing it in Asia, however. We're going to be the first. Um, and it's a huge market in itself. So $7 trillion of assets. We're tackling Australia first, which represents the second biggest market. Um, and we believe if we can um, solve this problem in Australia, which is the most regulated of the Asian markets, we'll be able to transfer our model and um, make it successful in other parts of Asia. Rob's now going to explain how we're going to do that. Thanks, Chris. So for our initial launch in Australia, um, we see two key consumer segments for Stockspot. So firstly, we're going after young investors. These are Gen X, Gen Y millennials. They have cash to invest, but don't know how to do it. Many of these want a greater return on their savings in the bank, but are nervous to do it themselves post GFC. Our product perfectly suits this young demographic because they already consume many services online and are early adopters of technology. Being um, digital, we're able to evolve our product over time and make sure that it meets the needs of these customers as they go through their life stages. Now, young consumers fall out under the radar of typical advice providers, so Stockspot, as our low minimum balance of only $2,000, means we can meet this unmet market need in Australia and then the rest of Asia as we expand. So the second key consumer segment are those who manage their own retirement savings. In Australia, this is a $530 billion market. Um, a survey in 2013 found that almost half, 44% of these people, have unmet financial advice needs um, and are willing to pay to meet those needs. So Stockspot 
can make low-cost financial advice accessible to these individuals. On the distribution side, we're going to partner with accounting firms instead of typical financial advice providers. Why? Well, our product integrates with zero, so it reduces the accountant's time by 75%, whilst the product will lower risk for the, um, the client by half, so everybody's better off. So we've already had, we only launched, we've been in private beta for two months and we publicly launched two days ago. But we've had great success already getting our, our message out there. PRs being key, which is a cornerstone of our marketing plan that we're happy to talk about in more detail later. But um, use of PR, we want to highlight, is nothing new for sort of disruptors in the financial services sector. One of the most successful new entrants in Australia in the last 20 years um, heavily relied on PR. Um, and they also position themselves as a consumer champion similar to us. As you can see, they did very well out of it. So we've had some great traction today. We've got a really good investor that's a strategic investor. Um, and we've had excellent partnerships that we've got in place as well. So we're Stockspot. We're reinventing the way that Asia invests. Uh, we've got experience across financial services, technology, and marketing. And we'd love to speak to anyone here about how we can bring Stockspot to markets outside of Australia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.